copyright copyright 1998 Rufus Rust 131 A Treatise on the Seven Rays Volume 4 Esoteric Healing the theory of energy direction initiation to the ductless gland and that it will admit, at least hypothetically and for the purpose of experimentation, that the theory of the energy centers may be correct in that they are the primary conditioning factors working through the ductless glands which, in their turn, guard the body, produce the necessary resistance, keep the blood stream supplied with the essentials to health and, when rightly interrelated, produce a balanced expression of the spiritual man throughout the entire physical body, physiological and psychological balance. When this desirable condition is not the case, then the ductless gland, through wrong relationship and incorrect and unbalanced development, are not adequate to the task. They cannot protect the body from disease and are unable to pour into the bloodstream what the physical vehicle needs. Owing to their inadequacy, the body is unable to resist infection, is in a constant state of ill health, and cannot cope with disease coming from without or latent within the organism of the body. This weakness often produces mortal disease. Medicine in the next century will be built around certain major premises. 1. Preventive medicine will be the goal, producing the attempt to keep the body in proper balanced order. 2. Sound sanitation and the providing of healthy conditions will be regarded as essential. 3. The supply of the right chemical properties to the physical body will be studied. A science of chemistry which is yet in its infancy, though it is becoming a flourishing infant. Four, an understanding of the laws of vitality will be regarded as of prime importance, and is this the emphasis today on vitamins and the influence of the sun or wholesome indication? Five, the use of the mind will be regarded, above everything else, as a factor of major importance. The mind will be seen as the prime influence with regard to centers, where people will be taught to work on their centers through mental power and thus produce a right reaction from the endocrine system. This will necessarily involve the right directing of thought to a center, or the withdrawal of attention from a center, with consequent effects upon the glandular system. This will all be based upon the occult law that energy follows thought. Owing to the fact that disciples have a greater development of mental power than the average man, and also to the fact that race type is more easily ascertained, involving consequently a more correct determination of the condition of the glandular system, they will be the first to cooperate with the medical profession and to demonstrate the relation of the centers to the gland, and therefore to the body as a whole. Great concentration and right meditation, carried on in the head center, and directed towards someone or other of the centers, the cycle will demonstrate such definite changes in the ductless plans that the medical profession will be convinced of the importance and the factual existence of the centers and of their power, and also of the possibility of controlling the physical organism through the power of thought. This all lies in the future. I am the point in the way in indicating a future technique whereby the disease will be overcome. The various mental schools of thought, unity and Christian science, have been fantastic and fanciful in their claims and definitely unscientific in their approach. But they have had hold of that. Copyright, copyright 1998 Rufus Trust.
and people today have in them all the strains in the blood of all the races, and this is the result of the World War. 1914-1945 will be increasingly the case.